I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. Election Day has come and passed for us in Louisiana, and nothing has changed, at least in terms of who's representing you in Congress. Statewide voter turnout was almost 46 percent. That's according to unofficial results from the Louisiana Secretary of State's office. The big race statewide was for the U.S. Senate seat, held by incumbent John Kennedy, and he will hold on to his seat for another six years, with 62 percent of the votes cast in his favor. First District Congressman and Minority Whip Republican Steve Scalise easily won re-election, with 73 percent of the vote. In the Second District, which runs from New Orleans to Baton Rouge, Democrat Troy Carter also skated to victory over his Republican challenger, with 77 percent of the vote. In the 3rd Congressional District, which includes Lake Charles and Acadiana, Republican Clay Higgins avoided a runoff with 64 percent of the vote despite having a vocal Republican and two Democratic opponents. In the 5th Congressional District, which is the largest row crop district in the country, Republican Congresswoman Julia Letlow garnered 68 percent of the vote in her first re-election bid. The race for Louisiana's 6th District saw the widest margin of victory with Republican Congressman Garrett Graves getting 80 percent of the votes. Now, you may have noticed that we skipped the 4th District. That's because Republican Congressman Mike Johnson ran with no opposition. If you want to take a look at the unofficial results and check out the results for the statewide constitutional amendments, none of which affect agriculture, visit our website at twilatv.org.